ASCO 2018 also featured several presentations for uh, patients with EGFR mutations. About 10% of our patient population, uh, mostly patients with adenocarcinomas, often with mm -hmm. little or no smoking history. And we've had a lot of developments over the last few years where uh, it's generally been an EGFR oral inhibitor, mm -hmm. drugs like Tarceva. Mm -hmm. Now there's a new, uh, relatively new approval mm -hmm. for the drug Tagriso Osimertinib, mm -hmm. which is a, a newer third generation agent. But there were other trials that were presented at ASCO, particularly out of Japan, mm -hmm. that suggested possible alternatives. And one of the concepts is that we can use Tagriso as our backup plan, maybe. It works very well as a first-line treatment, but if you can do other things first and still have it available, maybe you do that. Uh, two trials were presented mm -hmm. out of Japan that looked at Tarceva alone mm -hmm. or in combination with Avastin, the anti-angiogenic mm -hmm. uh, agent, and they both showed an improvement in progression-free mm -hmm. survival by several months, mm -hmm. three months mm -hmm. to six mm -hmm. months, depending on the study, mm -hmm. No difference mm -hmm. in overall mm -hmm. survival, but with a lot of crossover. So patients got a bunch of treatments in the usually several mm -hmm. years after they progressed. What do you see as the take home uh, point or the role for Avastin? Is there a place? And does the possibility of getting 16 or 17 months from a combination of Tarceva and Avastin mm -hmm. and still having Tegriso as a backup plan for some patients because mm -hmm. you still need to have the T790M right. mutation later. Is, is this a factor for you or is this kind of uh, moved on? For, moved for on? me, I've moved on. I think the one great thing about Tegriso is, well, a couple of great things about it. It's an oral pill once a day with very minimal side effects compared to a two drugs of Tarceva and Avastin, uh, number one. So side effects, check the box, the winner is Tegriso. Right. Uh, remember that the median survival PFS is 19 months, which would be the same here, but... No, better, I think, with better. The Tegriso, well, but right. you still it's, have it maybe available. Right, may, maybe or maybe not. Right. And I think really the other um, important factor is the brain metastasis. Mm -hmm. It's a, a, a Tegriso's ability to delay and prevent and treat brain metastasis, uh, I think is a really invaluable asset to this medication. And particularly strong for, for Tegriso uh, compared Tegriso, to others. Teg in yes, the and, and Mm -hmm. this combination because mm -hmm. we of, know that it's a Tarceva plus a Vastin. Mm -hmm. So to me right now, the clear winner is Tegriso. I mean, I do see your point about, it, it comes to this point about sequencing, but remember it's a small patient population that has the, I mean, it's a big patient population that could have that T790M um, mutation, but in my opinion, it's it's best to try to use your bus drugs up front. That's my opinion, mm -hmm. um, and you just don't know who's going to have the T seven ninety N. No, you of just, course, just it would don't be know. Easy if we so if we yeah. if we knew that, then I think that would be uh, something we could ask more of these sequencing questions about. Sandeep, what do you think? I couldn't agree more. I think you never get a second chance to make a first impression on the cancer. <laughs> and I think Tegriso is a great first impression if you have an EGFR mutated uh, non-small cell lung cancer. You want to use your best bullets up front against the cancer, and I think Tegriso is a strong one. Um, the other point I'd like to make is that uh, when we're thinking about these patients, not these drugs work well, mm -hmm. they're on them for a longer and longer period of time. Mm -hmm. And so the side effect profile becomes increasingly important. And so if we talk about drugs like Tarceva um, and Arisa that uh, may have a little more diarrhea, a little more rash, because patients are going to be on these therapies for longer in terms of combination, or if you get it with a Vastin where you have high blood pressure, protein in the urine, things like mm -hmm. that, um, these are very consequential because these have um, cumulative toxicity. And so 
for me, um, in addition to the very important point that only half of patients uh, would have the T790M, um, the idea that giving Tegriso up front um, to my newly diagnosed EGFR mutated patients seems to still be the best uh, strategy. Um, and I think the point about preventing or treating brain metastasis, which the other agents don't do at conventional mm -hmm. dosing, can't be underemphasized. Or because, certainly don't do as well. well exactly. Don't do it. Definitely don't so, do as well. Uh, so basically, to summarize, the Tegriso is a very compelling option because you get the longer overall mm -hmm. progression-free mm -hmm. survival, the longest of, mm -hmm. of all these options. The brain mm -hmm. metastasis prevention or control mm -hmm. is something that is a, a draw. It's got the Absolutely. very good activity and a very good toxicity profile, and particularly yes. for patients who we're hoping are going to be on this for you know, one or many years. Mm -hmm even mild to moderate side effects are not to be minimized if you're living with them every day. Exactly, and I think Avastin's role may come in patients who progress on Tegrissa, perhaps as part of the IM Power right. 50 regimen, right? Chemotherapy, yeah. Avastin to centric. Um, and so the idea that patients would have that agent as part of their um, therapeutic regimen at some point, I wonder if that's where Avastin may slot in in those patients. Another agent that may well become an FDA approved option based on a trial that was presented initially at ASCO 2017, presented with overall survival data in 2018 is a drug called dacamitinib. Mm -hmm. It's another oral mm -hmm. agent and there was an improvement in overall survival. We'd seen a prior improvement in progression-free survival, but side effects are a real issue. Two-thirds of the patients needed to have a dose reduction. Uh, this was also a trial compared to IRESA, mm -hmm. which I would say is probably the least uh, compelling in terms of efficacy of, the, it's not bad, but it's a little weaker, I would say, than the others. And it didn't include patients with brain metastases, mm -hmm. which we know is an important issue. Mm -hmm. So if dacamitinib is FDA approved, it does have a survival benefit that is not something that we can say about a lot of our agents, certainly nothing else in the EGFR space. So is this a player to you or is this too toxic or eclipsed by Tegriso? Yeah, I think options? it's eclipsed by Tegriso. Uh, it is a very toxic drug and uh, as you've already pointed out, it was compared to Arisa, which it, it is still a good good drug, of course. Um, so, so I think still, my opinion is Tegriso is is the clear winner mm -hmm. here. Toxicities are particularly from the patient perspective. Um, I always say that uh, it's hard for patients to have side effects and then treat side effects. I personally would rather patients not have side effects, and I think Tegriso is the leader here of any EGFR TKI. So, you know, looking at it from the patient perspective as well, I, I just see Tegriso as the clear winner. Absolutely. Patients, um, because these drugs are so effective, are going to be on these drugs much, much longer than um, traditional um, oral agents. And so the idea that we want to ha them to have a good experience mm -hmm. while on the drug, drug with minimal side effects, and I think Tegriso is very attractive um, from that standpoint, A, for minimizing side effects, but B, um, and we'll potentially see some data to this effect, um, its ability to get into the brain versus other agents. And the data for dacamitinib in that setting is not as clear. Mm -hmm.